Welcome to satdecoded.com. In this video, we're going to talk about minimum and maximum graph functions. In other words, they might ask us what is the greatest value or the smallest value or use you know, a bunch of synonyms for that. Um, the least, the greatest, the minimum, the maximum. Basically, the biggest or smallest values for a function within a given, uh, given range. So this question says, when, when is f of x the smallest in the given range? So here's our f of x function. It's this curvy looking shape. Well, if they're saying when is f of x the smallest, remember that f of x is an output and outputs are y values. So in other words, they're asking us what is, uh, what is the smallest y? When is y the smallest in the given range? So if we look right here, remember every point that makes up this curve has um, an ordered pair and every ordered pair has both an x and a y value. Since we don't really care about the x right now, let's just talk about the y, because that's what we're solving for, the y value. And each y value is corresponding to something on the y-axis. So every single point on this, uh, on this function has a y value. Okay, so we wanna see where is the smallest possible y value on, on this curve. So the smallest possible y value is right here because that corresponds to uh, this point right here. So that's negative one, negative two, and negative three. So basically when the y value is negative three, that is um, our answer. Don't get tricked and pick choice C though because that's not saying the y value is negative three. If you pay really close attention to what choice C is saying, it's saying f of negative three. That means the negative three portion, the part inside the parentheses, that's just an input, okay? And we're looking for an output or a y of negative three. We don't care what the what the um, what the negative three inside this parentheses is right now. So, if our output is negative three, then we have to find the corresponding input to that. So the corresponding input is, of course, our x-axis. So that's right here. So that's negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. So that's really what we're looking for, f of negative four. So that is our true answer. Negative four is our x, f of negative four is our y, and f of negative four happens to equal negative three. So let's try another one similar to this. I'm gonna erase uh, this question and uh, we'll, we'll take a look. All right, so here is the next question. So it says, when in the given range is g of x the greatest? And this one is a grid in, so they don't give us any multiple choice. So we're just going to have to solve it ourselves. All right, so same idea. When in the given range is g of x the greatest? So g of x, again, is our output, which is our y value. So this time, instead of asking for the smallest or the least y value, they're asking for the greatest. So we got to look for the greatest y. Remember, each point on this function has an ordered pair again. You can draw all the dots and eventually it will connect to form this shape. So if each one has an x comma y as our ordered pair, again, we don't really care about the x because we're just looking for when is y the greatest, then we want to find out where it looks like it's the greatest. And it looks like the y is greatest up here. So maybe that is a 3. So when in the given range is g of x the greatest? Well, it's the greatest when y equals 3. So we want to look for the input corresponding to when the output is, is 3, and the input that corresponds with it is also 3. So our answer is f of 3 is when, uh, when the y is greatest. If you wanted just to grid in something, um, f of 3 is your answer. Okay, good luck, and I'll see you in the next video.